Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Let me see if I can get this stupid camera to act right. There we go. Okay, so today you're going to see me in the same outfit, same hair, same everything. Um, I'm going to be, I'm recording some tag videos that I've kind of fallen behind on. <laughs> um, I've been tagged quite a bit here lately, and I love doing tag videos. I think they're awesome. You learn from each other. You chatting about stuff. Today, I have one, and this one's called Another Nail Polish Tag. And I was tagged by Amanda, the Nail Polish Hound. I will have a link for Amanda down below. If you are not subscribed to her channel, you really should be. So, um, this has ten questions on it. I'm going to hop right on into it because I'm kind of long-winded and I want to get through this. A nail polish you bought for the bottle. Okay, well, mine's not like a crazy, funky size bottle or anything, and um, it really just kind of talks about, like, my favorite shape of bottle, I guess, and I like square bottles, like Super Chick Lacquer or Square Hue or something like that. I like these nice size where you get quite a bit of polish in them, but I like the square bottles. I don't, I'm a square, so that is what I like. A polish that shouldn't work, but it does. For me, you know, see, I think all polishes should work. I'm going to have to say Crackle, and I know Crackle is so, like, you know, not in style really anymore. But when it was in its prime, I bought, I went to Bundle Monster and bought, like, this huge collection. And it had like all these colors in it. And then I bought more, you know. So I have like a whole drawer full of crackle polishes. And I'm going to break them out. Y'all are fixing to see them. Halloween's coming. And I always, always do one with Halloween. But I like crackle polish. And I like it. If you do it right, if you do it with the right colors, um, I think it's still very attractive. I think it's a very beautiful manicure. And um, you just got to play with it. I will show you what I'm talking about soon. So, <laughs> number three. A nail polish brand that doesn't exist anymore that you wished you owned more of. Um, I've got two. I couldn't narrow it down. I thought about this, and I I just cannot... Sorry, I got something in my eye. It drove me crazy. I got two that I just... And there probably are more, but these are the two that just, you know, first impressions jumped out at me. The first one is um, stashed polish. I've only got like three or four. I was working on getting some when she quit making them. Excellent polishes, beautiful, she beautiful polishes, excellent formulas. Love the logo on her bottle. Um, love the bottle. Love the brush. Loved everything about it. Um, stashed polish was was seriously. One that I wish I had gotten a lot more of. Um, and then the other one is Pipe Dream Polish, which they hadn't been around in a while. Um, their, started, their fame started with the whole A Night in Vegas collection, but all of her polishes were just gorgeous. And I wish I had more of those. So, um... Number four, nail polish couples. Like Manny's with accent nail color combos. What do you like? Okay, I love pink with silver. I do pink with gold a lot too, but as far as like painting, I would love to paint, if I was just doing a straight up mani, paint all the nails pink, any shade, bright, light, whatever, and then do silver on the accent nail, a little glitter bomb. Yes, please. So that's, that's one of my favorites forever. And I always love, um, like when it comes to stamping, I always love like hot pink with any kind of animal print done in black. I mean, I just pink and black just mm, pretty. I love it. Okay. Number five, what has been your best buy bargain? I was thinking about that and you know, I mean, I try to look for bargains, so it's got to be like crazy bargain for me to um you know, get overwhelmed over it or anything. I, you know, when it comes especially to the Indies, I, I try to find a sale or somewhere where it says if you buy so much, you get free shipping and, you know, that kind of thing. 
um, or if they are running some kind of Labor Day or Black Friday special. Um, but my special, the thing I think was, and this happened just this year, is finding those Kiss Gel Strong polishes at the Dollar Tree for a buck. The formulas are awesome on every one of them I got. I like the brush. I like the bottle. I mean, for a dollar? Are you kidding? I just wish I could find more. So, I'm going to just throw it throw a curveball there and say those Kiss Gel Strong polishes because they really did floor me for being a dollar. Okay. Number six. How many polishes have you accidentally purchased more than one of? Funny you should ask. Hang on just a moment. When I was moving my room back and doing... No, it was when I was doing my swatch dots on the top of the bottles. I did run across... Probably about four duplicates in my collection. Most of them were like, hi, Cotton. China Glaze. Um, I had like two or three extra or dupes of China Glaze. And then I had a couple of Essies and a couple of OPIs. But it wasn't too bad considering how massive my collection is. Um, but here recently... Um, Okay, so I got cut off by the um, battery again. This is an issue. I got three batteries. I could try to keep them charged. but Okay, I ended up placing an order with Dollish Polish because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that polish. And this one is just crazy pretty. And this was a polish done for Alan Rickman. And this one's called After All This Time, Always. And I think I already have it. I think it's over in my tub of stuff that needs to be swatch dotted and put into the collection. If I find out this is a duplicate, number one, I'm not going to be happy with myself. And number two, it's going to go in the giveaway box. <laughs> I won't be happy with myself, but somebody will benefit from my thing. And I used to have an Excel word sheet that kept up with all of my polishes. And when I went through my collection, since I was touching everything and swatch dotting everything, I tried to update my list. Well, I had like a little transformer laptopy thing in there while I was doing them, and I would save it on a little thumb drive and go put it on my computer and update it. Well, at some point, I didn't update or something, so it's not updated. And so now I'm going to have to go all the way through my collection again, which means three full Helmers, six wall racks, and tubs and tubs of polishes, one by one, and make sure that they're in there because that. That will stop me from repurchasing things I already own. So, but it's always a win-win for y'all when I do that because, you know, I put it in the giveaway. Okay, so number seven. What was the first lemming you successfully hunted down? That would probably be OPI's Damon Roberts, 1969. Hang on a second. I think I see it. Okay, I am back. It is Damon Roberts, but it's 1968, not 1969. I'm losing my mind. And it's a beautiful light green. Uh, had to have it. It's almost like a pistachio green or something. I oh, love it. I had to have it. Had to have it. Hunted it down. It was a very limited edition. If I can get my camera to focus. Man, this camera's fixing a fight. Act right. Are you going in time out? So, Damon Roberts. And, and I don't know what was special about it that I had to have it. But this was from a really long time ago. And I, and it was when I first started, like, if I heard limited edition, I knew what that meant. For real knew what that meant. And I knew that, oh, my God, if I don't find my hands on it now, I won't ever get it. So, I tracked that one down and bought it. What's your favorite topper? My favorite topper is uh, i &M's Northern Lights. I've had, and I'm sure I've told you all this before, I've had so many manicures that I hated. I mean, I was ready to just take them off, just done with them. I didn't like it. It didn't turn out how I wanted it. I didn't like that color or something. And Northern Lights saved it for me. I can't, I can't tell you how many manicures. You know, it's late at night, got to go to bed, got my nails painted with something I don't like. Some of that Northern Lights on it, top coat it, go to bed. I can deal with it for a couple of days. It's amazing how many manicures that topper 
has saved. It's very similar to China Glaze's Fairy Dust. There's a lot of different brands out there that have something very similar, but it's very light, not in your face, scattered hollow, and I love it. So, number nine, how many polishes have you de-stashed that you ended up rebuying? Well, first of all, you have to do a de-stash for that to happen. Bless you, Cotton. Bless you. Sneezy dog. Um, I've done a baby de-stash once. There was a young girl that said something about, I wish I had some polishes and could paint my nails, so... I went through my collection and probably pulled about 20 out and sent them to her. Um, <laughs> he's stealing my show. <laughs> God, you're funny. We might have to end this. I have to, I have to get through one more question. Shh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, as far as polishes that I've rebought because I de-stashed, that would be zero. <laughs> Bless you, bless you. Oh my gosh, y'all. He's like, eat up with the sneezies. He must be needing some mommy time. So, let me answer one more question. Okay. Shh, shh. Biggest regret. A polish you had in your basket and you put back. You know, I have very little self-control. Um, it's pretty rare for me. Well, okay. And I'm forgetful too. So, there we go. So, normally I just go through with purchases, and then I regret purchasing so much. Um, but, I think a lot of times, like there have been like stamping plates and things like that where I loaded up my basket and then just walked away and never finished it. Never, never did it. And, um, so it's not really a polish though. Those are stamping plates. As far as polishes, I don't have any regrets from not buying something that I could have bought. I don't think. Of course, there's so many polishes I want. You know, my list could be forever long if I did it that way. So, I'm going to say none. I mean, I'm sitting surrounded by polish. It would be kind of silly of me to say I actually have a regret for something I don't have. I probably have something just like it somewhere in this collection. So, that is it for my 10 answers for the questions um, for another nail polish tag. Amanda, I want to thank you for inviting me to do this tag and tagging me. And I would like to tag Miss um, Sylvia from Hell of the Nails. I would like to tag um, see, my, my mind goes blank when we get to this point. Um, for this one, I would like to tag um, Cherie since she tagged me in a video. I'd like to go ahead and tag her. And anyone else that has not been tagged and would like to do this, um, if you don't have a YouTube channel and don't do videos, if you would like to answer any of these questions down below and chat with me about it, I would love to hear from you. Just leave me a comment. And that is it for today. So, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.